spins, but then it's live. So I'm stalling just in case. Uh, greetings, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, hopefully a big, exciting plans for the weekend. And uh, you are looking forward to lots of exciting stuff. Uh, lots going on here, as always. I thought I would do a quick update before we um, shuffle off for the weekend. Not like we won't be working. All fantastic. So uh, great day. Hopefully you're loving the bundles and you've chosen yours and maybe you even uh, connected, referred a few new people to potentially earn commissions on through the course of March. Uh, I wanted to bring you through a couple of things. First of all, the face bundle is gone. Uh, so apparently that was your favorite. Uh, the spring bundle uh, is in second. It's about half gone, a little well, it's more than half gone. Uh, it was half gone a couple hours ago. So uh, if one goes, then I, I, next I suspect it will be that. We will keep this on through Sunday or while supplies last. And um, there we go. Uh, but limit one per please. And uh, if you figured out a way to gain that, don't. So uh, I'm also on the cusp of, you may have noticed in the face, which is why I suspect it's gone, that uh, there are two new products. They uh, have finally arrived, unfrozen out of the winterous tundra that was the American South here for uh, all of two weeks ago, and everything's still <laughs> moving slowly, but uh, is starting to get where it needs to be. It's so funny, because we can't get some things to move and things we're supposed to have. We still are <laughs> waiting on a couple of the, the balance of the face stuff, and then our little stoned rollers are these fabulous. You'll see those pretty soon. Um, they're here early. Go figure. So um, there it is. You just never know, do you? Uh, let's see. Other things. There is a significant dashboard update. If you've been using the beta version, there is a beta C is what they have called it that we can install for you. So uh, I want to wait and run that until it actually came out on the end, and that was a bad idea. So I will probably roll that out sometime late Sunday night or early Monday morning. And if it looks okay and it doesn't cause problems, we'll leave it on. So if we are down for a little bit, uh, that is why. But this isn't new software. This is just uh, that little bit better dashboard. And hopefully we have a little bit more control over it. So, But I don't know what it'll do to invitations. I don't know what it'll do to some of these other pieces that uh, are included on there. So I don't uh, dare even run it until I have a better idea. So. If, if we're down, I'll put up a maintenance window. We'll just kind of see, get the family party. The, I, don't, I don't know if you know this, but there's me and then there's like that brother. What, let's have one of those. And he never had kids and he was so naughty even when he was born. There's like this massive gap before my other brother, sister, and other brother. And um, so I'm a lot older and my kids are a lot, lot older than all the other nieces and nephews. But I have nine nieces and you, know, you specialize in boys and then you have nine nieces under the age of 10. So um, lots of fun at our house all the time, at our family parties all the time. I have that Sunday. If I'm up for it after that's over with, uh, we'll, we'll launch it. If not, we'll see. So uh, stay tuned, but if something's going on, uh, we'll let you know and I will post a few hours in advance that uh, we're gonna run that and, if, and that's why it will be down. So uh, additionally, let's see. Monday is International Women's Day. This is uh, UN Women put this on and it, it's fantastic. And it's a great celebration and the perfect time for us to celebrate uh, women in business all over the whole planet. So what better time to bring She for Shea back into the conversation here at Ambitious. With a small project, I'm still trying to get some final costing. Or I wanted to have more information. But it'll be a two-fold project. And of course, it'll be ongoing because this is our village. And I genuinely, you can call me crazy. You can call me whatever you want. And I know everybody's got their own beliefs. But I believe God wants me to put a village uh, or a school in this village in Ghana because they don't even read. It's one of the most remote places uh, on, on the planet. And uh, these women will never truly be successful in business until they can read, write, communicate with the rest of the world. And COVID hit them hard. 
not the actual virus, but all the economic impact of it. So we're looking forward to that. So first thing you will do is become a friend of Shea. Uh, you can opt into that. There's be some goodies you can get. You'll see the page. We will put it up. Um, but for 10 bucks, you'll be able to get in there and be a friend of Shea for all of 2021. We'll do conversations with Winmi and the GSA. Uh, we will get updates on our village. We will have things you can hand out. That's actually part of your $10. And uh, we'll have that. That'll be something ongoing. You'll be on the website for it. If you want, you can be anonymously on the website for it if you want. Uh, so we'll, we'll have that up and running. And then uh, additionally, a couple of weeks after that, there are some real business needs that the community has. And I want to see how many we can pay for it. There's a prioritized list of about 20 things. Some of them are expensive and some of them are not. But I want to give you a quick idea of what uh, some of them are on the list. The first thing they ask for is a motorized tricycle. Uh, they, they look like giant three-wheelers, but they've got a big bed on the back. And they use it to transport things like nuts or produce shea. And it helps them get it around faster and more easily they don't really have a lot of vehicles. So uh, when we were there, they're, they're typically not too expensive, but as you go down the list, there are literally things on there that are a toilet for the community, they don't have one. It, the fanciest thing they have on the warehouse is a sloped floor with a hole in the back and you squat and you take in a kettle and you rinse it down and that's it. And so a community toilet is on the list and not even very expensive. They also don't have their own water tanks, um, big, not big enough ones uh, adequate for the community. So trucks will come bring in water periodically and they don't have their own tanks. So uh, water tanks are one of the asks uh, that are on the list that they need for future growth. And this is just sustaining the community too. Of course they use it for business, but uh, these are really important uh, things that I think we could probably help them with. So uh, I've got some community friends here engaged in the cause as well. And uh, we, we've got a fun little lip balm not fun word, uh, that we'll have in a couple of weeks that will help us raise funds for Giza Gunda and the She for Shea. But uh, we'll use Monday and International Women's Day to kick that off. And uh, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I won't go on about it now because I'll probably talk about it a lot on Monday when I've washed my hair. And uh, we'll talk a lot about uh, why I'm bitches and it's okay if some people are offended by it because honestly, we all need to own, uh, kind of own our titles, right? Own our, uh, own all of it and just just be in this world and, and accept people for who they are. And it's such a, such a conversation actually attended a diversity conference with my sister-in-law last uh, last week, last Friday. And um, some of it was very enlightening and some of it's like, gosh, you know, I picked on because it was small or you were picked on for all kinds of things. And we, we've got to go out there and do it. And so uh, we will use Monday to talk brands, to talk women and uh, to kick off our she for shay. And I have said too much about that. So I wanna get quickly, and I'm gonna do some high level training, and then I'm gonna do some double checking, and then we're gonna turn on whoop acid, and we're gonna turn on undercover toner mask spritz. And I have not talked about this a lot because uh, I wanted to wait till it was here and get the full impact. The whoop acid is phenomenal, don't get me wrong. But uh, when we talk about timeliness and things that we need, I gave a, uh, one of my last tester bottles of this to one of my son's 16 year old friends they work in, they serve drinks. They, they do these fancy fountain drinks here in Utah. And I don't think it's actually a thing most places, at least not yet, because it's very much a Mormon thing, right? So, that, but they, they serve these drinks. You go to a drive up window and you pay way too much for a soda with all kinds of fancy things in it. But they have, obviously, they have to wear a mask. And all these poor kids that work with them have maskne out of control. And uh, Dallin is his name. We gave Dallin some uh because my son's been using it it was almost something kevin it came up did but uh they we gave it to dallin and he looks like a new kid two weeks later we should have done before and after pictures but we'll let you do that too so i want to talk quickly through both of them the training isn't quite finished yet uh but the products are ready to go on but i thought if i give you some verbals uh now uh, i can finish up the training i'm gonna have to go be um I call myself the dinner bitch. It's my official function here in the family. And I have a 22-year-old who's very hungry. So I will have to go make dinner here very, very soon. So uh, I, wanna, I wanna talk through this and I'm gonna pull it. There's so many good things in here, I can't even remember it all. Uh, so for, I can't remember who it was saying a couple of weeks ago, they're like, oh, I'm gonna have to, 
learn all of this. I still have to learn all this. There is so much good stuff in these, uh, especially these two, really a lot of this, all the space stuff. There are so many good things in there. It's, it's gonna take us some time to learn all of it. So here is your whip acid. It's, it's got a bag. I love the pouch. It gives us lots of real estate to educate, to train, to get our exclamations on there. Are you like the quotes on things? We're gonna do more exclamations coming soon. Obviously this one's not sealed, but this is what she looks like when she comes. Uh, you only need a little tiny bit. I know people hate these droppers and I'm gonna keep doing this because um, they actually work probably better than um, Kristen, I think that's a great idea. The dinner bitch got pizza. This sounds fabulous. I bought steak and broccoli. I was gonna make beef and broccoli pizza. Sounds way better. But um, the COVID components being what they are, these are not the most phenomenal droppers. They're actually not cheap, but there is a trick to them. Because they're the child resistant, uh, when you fuddle with this trying to get it off, it makes the suction not work as well as one that doesn't have the child resistance sometimes, especially when these creams are a little bit thicker. So here's your whip acid. It's it's more gel-like. I don't know if you can tell from here. If you if you put it next to the serum in full light, you can tell that's a serum. Um, you can see it's it's more translucent. Um, but if you if you actually pull it out and empty it, squeeze it right, and then put it back in and squeeze, then you haven't had all the fuddling that. Um, can empty it and make it hard to suck some more back up. Uh, but just a couple drops, again, it's it's fairly viscous, a little goes a long way. And you're gonna think it's not that strong. At least I did, my skin's not sensitive at all. And this really isn't something that you have to avoid. I would test it, if I had sensitive skin, you test into everything, right? Um, it smells phenomenal, it's just a bouquet of spring flowers is the fragrance, it's, it's pretty subtle. And um, you'll put that on, I actually put on my hand the other night uh, when it came and I woke up the next day and by 11 o'clock in the morning, I could still feel the difference on the hand that had had it and the hand that hadn't. And the reason being, it's got all these incredible actives in it that help keep your, um, your top layers, the dead layers gone uh, and very, very hydrated. So it's got a ton of beta glucan in it. Now this is the natural active that absorbs, it's more humectant, absorbs more moisture out of the air even than a hyaluronic acid. So one of the, it's a glycerin and aloe base, very, very light, you can, I can't feel it already, uh, but it's, it's got this really beautiful light feel to it, but then it's loaded with beta glucan, and it just draws, draws, draws in moisture. Uh, and then we're gonna run through, there's so many things in here, it's not even funny. So it's got goji berry, which is nice because it's got a ton of antioxidants in there. Uh, and it will, the antioxidants, of course, repel uh, all the gunk in the air and they help you, your skin look younger because it's not letting uh, things stick to it, weigh it down and uh, make it wrinkly and icky and dry looking. So the goji berry, and this is the Lyceum Bardium Fruit Extract that's in there, uh, but it, it really, really nice and um, even skin tones and things like that. So great for face. If, you're, if your skin looks dry, tired, lumpy, anything like that, it's gonna help take that off. Um, it's also great for um, acne reduction because it repels all that other stuff, right? So it, it keeps your pores nice and clean. Uh, and, and, and then also your collagen stays more healthy and elastic because it doesn't have things sticking to it. So then we also get into the, I mean, I'm not gonna, be, I'm gonna butcher some of these names, uh, but there's the Uterra Oleacera fruit extract, and this is an Indian fruit, uh, but it is known to um, dramatically exfoliate and resurface your skin. So this is great for anti-wrinkle, it's great. Your pores stay smaller and they stay cleaner if you don't let them build up and get deep and you know, the size you can drive a truck through and full of dirt. So uh, we love this because um, even though it's a rare fruit and it's not something you hear about all the time, the extracts are really, really nice to help brighten your skin, keep the layers off of it, um, keep your pores nice and clear and keep them unclogged. Then we get to the oleonic acid, which comes from an olive oil. It actually comes from the leaves of an olive. Um, and this is also, it's antioxidant, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. We don't put that writing, remember that's plain. Uh, but it helps your skin stay very, very elastic. Uh, so it's gonna keep that nice and healthy. It also has uh, noni in it, which 
we love for many, many reasons. But noni's full of vitamin C and vitamin A um, that, that, again, help keep your collagen where it needs to be, keep it really, really nice and elastic. So what, what these different natural actives are doing, there are really only two things you need to remember. We'll run through a bunch of ingredients, but the only things you really need to remember is there are all these great natural extracts that are going to help pull off the dead, dull layers of skin, and then a ton of things that are going to help keep your skin elastic and hydrated and, you know, just looking really, really stretchy, glowy, healthy. So, um, so really, they're going to fall into those two camps, and that's the point of the whoop acid, to take off, take off, take off. And I actually put this on at one point. I've, I've told this a few times, and I'll keep telling it. But I went and cleaned my house and left it on for a couple of hours. I had holes in my nose. You feel it, and it's like, oh, it smells nice. It's on there. It's very light. I can't feel it. It doesn't burn. And um, But it's working. And you'll, you will. You'll be able to tell. If you do the hand test, put it on the back of one hand and not the other. Leave it for about, you know, on your hand. You wouldn't necessarily your face, but on your hand, your skin's thicker. You leave that on for 20, 30 minutes, and then go wash it off. Next day, you'll still be able to feel the difference. So, um... There is an Enanthea chloramtha bark extract, which uh, is, let's see, this is, oh, this is the oil production. So if you're overly oily or if you need to help balancing out that, um, that's why we love that bark extract. And you'll see that in a lot of, I'm not familiar with acne stuff because I have dry skin, I live in Utah. Uh, but uh, the, there's also coffee, green coffee bean extract, which we love. Uh, again, because there's, it's not just the caffeine, but it's also uh, keeps the stretchy going on in, in your collagen and keep that very healthy. Marinda fruit, right? We've, we've heard of the marinda fruit before. We love that extract as well because it peels off and resurfaces. And again, this is one of those ingredients that um, you can't have it in enough things and you can't use it often enough. Very gentle, very natural, very, very kind to your skin. But as you age, especially, just take it off, take it off, take it off because you want those dull, dry, ugly layers uh, removed. So we've got mangosteen in here as well, which we love. It is, um, it's a huge Asian story always. It has been forever and it probably always will be because um, it's, it's got all of those antioxidant compounds that do a lot of the amazing, you know, all these amazing stretchy things. And it, um, it's the antioxidants and make sure, and, and this is an anti-aging too, because they're so antioxidant heavy, uh, they help repair the skin. And, you know, they believe that in Asia, many parts of Asia, they believe they've all these incredible health, um, health benefits and everything else. And let's see, pomegranate, which is going to be uh, similar to the, oh, which other one? But it's, it's the antimicrobial, right? It's gonna take the ickies off, um, clean it out. Things stick to your face all day, all day long. But we love mangosteen for that reason. Uh, and or pomegranate, sorry, because it, it, it's known again to acne people. This is, it's very well known because it um, will keep the dirt off of your skin. The last thing it will hit, there are green tea extracts in here. And anytime you hear green tea, it's anti-inflammatory, which you love. Um, it's going to preserve your collagen. It's going to keep your skin nice and bouncy and healthy. The caffeine's going to have an instant effect that's going to look phenomenal. Um, and they are, you know, just, I mean, you want to drink green tea all the time, shower in green tea, just very, very, very good for you. So how often you use this guy? I, I'm old. I'm dry, <laughs> I'm not sensitive. I actually use this probably three times a week um, and it's gentle enough and put it on, run around, brush your teeth, rinse it off, um, and you're good to go to bed. Put on clean skin and then you put your toner serum moisturizers all on top of there. Uh, if your skin tends to be sensitive, if you are, um, you know, if things tend to be hard on your skin, ease into it, try it once, try it, you know, down here. Uh, but it really isn't, it's not gonna feel brutal in any way, shape, or form. It's, it actually feels extremely nice, very, very gentle. Uh, and you know, I think with 30 days on the bottle, with 45 days, I'll be surprised if it's not 90. Like, I mean, this just goes and goes and goes. I put on a drop that was half the size of a dime on the back of my hand and it would have done my whole face. So at 19 bucks, um, you can't beat, you won't find anything as clean, as fabulous, as whoop acid, and we have a ton, 
So don't be shy. Get it on everybody. This would be a great thing to sample because again, you can do the hand test really quickly, and uh, you talk lots of people into trying that. It's a very safe bet. So I want to get to. Oh, I should have pulled it up here. It's in my bag. One sec. Here. I find the one that was open. So here is your undercover. Now, if you know the benefits of a toner right after you wash your face, it's like deep clean, right? Uh, this, is, this is effectively just a really nice toner. And then we did a couple of different little things with it based on just the state of the crazy world that we live in right now. And uh, we put it in a mister, and there are a couple of very light occlusives this is a word you can throw around a lot and catch people's attention, which are just, and they're natural, but you throw those on your skin, your skin still breathes, you're still, it's not gonna clog your pores, it's not gonna uh, cause blemishes and things like that. It's just going to live on top of your skin as a barrier to prevent things from getting in. Because you put on a mask and you breathe, especially if you're in those things for hours, you breathe into it and uh, things that are on the outside pull through. I know they say it stops everything, but if you watched the video on YouTube of the doctors in California throwing grapes through a chain link fence and talking about how effective a mask was, <laughs> you're effectively sucking things, all the dirty things from your mouth and all the dirty things from the air and you're conglomerating them right here on your face. And if you get to sit in that for hours, turns out it's not very nice to your skin. So this is designed and developed specifically for the uh, shitty COVID, sorry, uh, COVID restrictions that, uh, that we all live under and trap on our face. And, you know, I, I, it, this isn't a mass debate. This is just a, for whatever reason you've got to do it, it ain't good for your skin, right? We, we all figured that out quite a while ago now. Um, you will need to shake it. It's got colloidal sulfur in it. Again, if you're an acne person, you know what colloidal sulfur is and you know how great it is to help keep your skin looking healthy. So you'll always need to shake it because there's no good natural way to keep it all mixed and keep it clean enough to, to want to chop it on your skin and not worry about what it's doing to you. But we will run through, again, so many things in here that are good for you, it's going to be hard to get through them. But it's a purified water, so it's very, very clean. And I kept it small and I kept it um, in a little mister so that you take it everywhere you go. You can use it as a toner after you wash your face, you spray it in your hand. Uh, it, it's not a bad spray, the sprayer's nice. Got a, a decent sprayer when you could actually still get them. See, I didn't jump, I didn't need to run and hide. Um, it dries down very, very quickly. Uh, but you can spray it in your hand or you can do what I just did when you wash your makeup off, use it like you would your toner. It's got a ton of glycolic acid in it. It's based in witch hazel um, and the purified water and that's fantastic. But if you're wearing a mask and you wanna put it on before you're trapped in there for a long time, uh, it will do that really well too. So we love glycolic acid, right? We know it's a great way to chemically exfoliate. It's kind of those middle layers of skin. It's not the immediate top and it's not deep down where it's gonna be irritating. It's kind of that nice middle ground where you're, you're taking off as much dead as possible to expose the healthiest, freshest layers of skin and it will keep you looking younger. Uh, it'll keep your skin glowing and looking nice and shiny and smooth. It stimulates collagen because you're pulling all that stuff off and your skin wants to regenerate itself. Next, it's apple cider vinegar all the rage right now, uh, but it's a comp because it's a combination of acetic acids and alpha hydroxy acids in the vinegar that are really good for your skin. Now, it is from a deodorized powder, so it doesn't stink. Um, it, it smells a little bit like wintergreen, but we wanted to keep the fragrance out as much as possible because again, you're trapping it on your face and you want to enjoy your breath, right? But, well, you don't, but you just don't want to mix it with something else. So we did keep the fragrance extremely light. There is some wintergreen in there um, you can get a hint of. But the apple cider vinegar has all those great anti-inflammatory properties. It's got all the acids. My baby's home. My, my broken back baby finally went skateboarding for the first time since, since the, the incident. So um, there's a copa, I'm gonna slaughter this, copa bio oil. Um, but it restores, restores moisture and plumpness, but again, without causing irritation. Uh, it's it's uh, antiseptic, 
so it helps with infections or inflammation uh, or any goobies that uh, can get on your skin. There is acai berry in here, which we love of love because it helps your elasticity stay nice and strong. There is a sorbiton oleate cross polymer. It's a micellar. Of course, you want to put a micellar in here to absorb and suck out, right, gently, all the things that are being trapped on your skin. The colloidal sulfur that we already talked about a little bit, but uh, it helps clear pores and keep your skin nice and clarified. It's also antibacterial, so you're keeping all of those goobies that you're breathing out and sucking in and trapping on your face. Uh, it helps keep them from clogging your pores. The winter green again in here, which is really nice. Uh, it, it's just a nice clean fragrance, but then it's also, it's an essential oil, but it also does kind of have antiperspirant factor, factors to it. So naturally kind of help you not sweat as much. Hopefully, oh, those things are disgusting. Um, and then there is the tetrasodium glutamite diacetate. This is an organic salt. So it's all very clean and natural. Uh, but with that, with the benzoic acid that you'll see there at the very end of the ingredient list, uh, they are the occlusive. These are the ingredients that sit very lightly. And you, you can feel it just ever so, so that was, that's a little faster on here. But you can feel it ever so slightly. It's not even sticky or tacky, it dries very fast, uh, but it lives right there on top of your skin and it forms that barrier so that the things that your mask is trapping onto you uh, don't end up in your pores, don't end up causing you to have mask, mask me, or even, I mean, really any of us worry about wearing those masks for very long, even if it doesn't cause the acne or the blackheads. Trapping that on is not good for anyone's skin. So it lives right there on the surface and keeps you very clean. And these are great. Try to keep them as inexpensive as possible or small. So, but at a $15 price point, it really is something that you can invest in. You know, this, this poor friend of my son's was ready to go get on Accutane. And it's like, just try this, please. And uh, you, you can save somebody the grief of that. But remember, it is normal to need to shake it up. Uh, your colloidal sulfur is not going to uh, mix in, and you don't want it to because that you may have goobies in there. And, uh, but this is just a really nice, clean, natural way to tone, to live in a mask for, I don't know, they keep telling us we're almost done, I don't know what the hell's going on, but if you've had the vaccine and you've had it, why can't we just go to the grocery store, but we can't. Uh, so, but get it, um, love it. I think you're gonna really, really enjoy these. They're innovative, they're different, they're very, very on trend, and uh, just phenomenal formulation. Um, and we will talk a lot about these and hopefully they're a very big and fun part of your business. I will download this. I will stick it in your dashboard. I hope you have a tremendous weekend and we have lots more surprises, lots more things coming. Uh, but next week will be a great one and um, get out and share. The economy's booming, jobs are coming back. What is it, 2.6, I wrote it down, I heard a story on it today. 2.6 million women left the workforce since uh, the lockdown 51 weeks ago. And we need to give them some options. So let's go. Talk to you soon. Have a great one.